Well, new tonight, a Bronx man says he's repeatedly been a victim of what looks like a well thought out plan to trick neighbors and steal his packages. Our Greg Thompson is speaking with him in this News 12 exclusive. When I get home, I think my wife got me some Uber Eats, but I don't, I don't see her leaving outside. <laughs> Instead, it's an old Burger King bag filled with what looks like chicken bones. Just the latest thing that Francisco Ocampo has found on his front stoop instead of the packages that he ordered. It's, I think you pretty much picked it up from the garbage. Ocampo's security camera catching what appears to be the same person repeatedly pretending to have an Uber Eats delivery, leaving it at his front door in Edenwald, then picking up and making off with boxes that were shipped to him. She's kind of a genius, you know, because think about it, everyone, she's not, she doesn't feel, she's not intimidating anybody. People don't feel that, she, they might think that she's a worker and don't feel nothing out of the ordinary. It shouldn't be any surprise to the thief that they were caught on camera. The Ocampo's house is pretty clearly labeled with a security system and surveillance, but it didn't matter anyway. The thief just walked right up the steps in plain daylight. She doesn't care or she's feeling comfortable just coming into people's homes. It looks like she's just feeling comfortable. And it doesn't look like it's the first time. She looks like she's done it several times already. And while Ocampo says the places he bought from were able to replace most of the stolen packages, one had a blanket in it, hand knitted by the mother of a former student for his daughter. It took her like five days to knit the blanket. Yeah. So she feels that she's not harming nobody. But in this case, she kind of took something that I can't get back. So last night, police confirmed that Ocampo did file a report after the thief took two more boxes, bringing the total to more than five. But he says he doesn't want any real punishment. I hope she gets rehabilitated because there's other ways of making money. So hopefully, you know, there's a, this puts a stop to it and others will learn of this game that's going on. In the meantime, Ocampo says he's thinking twice about having things shipped to his house right now and is looking into getting a P.O. box or locker. In Edenwald, Greg Thompson, News 12. All right, Greg.